Hey, folks, Kevin Jackson here. Every time I say anything positive about Trump, people say, oh, Kevin, you're just avid Trump supporter. No, I'm not. But I am a supporter of the truth. Here's Bill Barr talking about Donald Trump implementing Trump policies. Now, you would think that in with Bill Barr's comments that Donald Trump never served as president and we don't have a track record of his achievement. But here's what this moron has to say about Donald Trump. Is he fit to be president of the United States? Is Donald Trump fit to be president? Uh, what, this is the way I'll answer that, Geraldo, <laughs> which is if you believe in his policies, he's the la what, what he's advertising is his policies, he's the last person who could actually execute them and achieve them. <laughs> he does not have the discipline. He does not have the ability for strategic thinking and linear thinking or setting priorities. Uh, or how to get things done in the system. It is a horror show when he's, in, when, you know, when he's left to his own devices. And, and so you may want his policies, but Trump will not deliver Trump policies. He will deliver chaos and, if anything, lead to a backlash that will set his policies much further back than they otherwise would be. That's a very direct answer. Thank you, General. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, as you listen to Bill Barr, think about what he's telling you. He's saying a guy who is successful in his job, private sector, a billionaire who builds buildings, he builds golf courses. The Trump name is known, it's synonymous for great branding. And had he never run for president, Bill Barr would, could not utter those words out of his mouth. But Trump did run for president and he won. And his track record is one of success, period, pure and simple. Take away COVID and Donald Trump was a successful president. And he did it with guys like Bill Barr fighting him with the Justice Department that Bill Barr was part of actually performing a coup against Donald Trump. He carried 800 pounds of weight on his shoulders and he did it with ease. And Bill Barr, who has watched people like George Bush and people like Joe Biden and people like Barack Obama ruined this country. And he has the nerve to say that. So forget his words. Ask yourself, what's his motivation? Why is he saying this? Why is he saying it now? Why is he telling blatant lies, absolute misinformation? Because compare it. Look at inflation under Trump, inflation under Biden. Look at gas prices. Look at fuel prices in general food prices. Look at wars under Biden, wars under Trump. Look at what happened in Afghanistan, what Trump was going to do, what Biden's doing. Look at Sudan now, where um, even more Americans are being held hostage. Look at the number of hostages over around the country because Biden doesn't give Americans, around the world rather, because Biden doesn't give Americans protection. Look at the state of the world under Biden and leftism and what it was under Trump in any category. And ask yourself, why would a guy like Bill Barr say these things? Now, here's what I'll say bad about Trump, since people want to say, Kevin, you're in the you're you're all about Trump. I'm not. Donald Trump handpicked Bill Barr. After getting rid of Jeff Sessions, he handpicked this guy to be his AG. What an idiotic move. Donald Trump needed to pick somebody non-Bush related because uh, Bill Barr made us believe he was actually going to look into the corruption of what was going on against Trump. And you know what he was? He was part of the swamp. Very sophisticated how the Democrats fight. And, and I know in the leftists, because you'll say, Kevin, he's not a Democrat. He was under Trump. How the leftists fight. The, the establishment, Republicans and Democrats who hate a guy that gets it done. Bill Barr is a disingenuous liar. And what you witness there is more misinformation and it can propagate. It, it, it's okay. I don't mind Bill Barr saying it, but in the real world, that type of misinformation would be shut down. And here's what we also know. Bill Barr is just as responsible for the coup against Trump, propagating those lies of the 51 former intelligence officers. And I wouldn't be surprised if his name is on there, but the people who supported that lie of the Hunter Biden notebook. Anyway, folks, just trying to make some sense of a crazy world out there, crazy world of leftism. Follow me, the Kevin Jackson Network. 
is where you can find out about all my work. And when I say follow me, it's not a directive. It's a request. But if you like what you hear, please do so and let other people know. We'll see you again soon. Yeah.